So when this film comes to you, the script, uh, is it something you say yes to straight away or do you have to think about it? No, in, pretty much instant. I did read the script before I said yes, but <laughs> obviously, uh, yeah, it was, no, it was, a, it was a great script and, and fascinating and, you know, and all the personnel and the involved was irresistible and the, um, and the, and the character, you know, the part, I was, thought was challenging and um, I didn't think I was necessarily the <laughs> obvious casting, but if Philida thought <laughs> that it was fine, I was, I was more than happy to go along with it. I had all kinds of apprehensions about what it might be and thought, how can you do a biopic of Thatcher in 110 minutes? I mean, it just seemed to me, uh, first of all, I think biopics are really tricky genre. It feels, how do you, you know, how do you know what to leave out? And uh, so when I realised this wasn't that at all as I read it, the half the film set in the present day and the other half is told entirely from Margaret Thatcher's point of view. And the film is, in fact, sort of about something else. It's not about um, was she right or was she wrong. Um, it's a film about power. How would you have dealt with this if you'd been prime minister? Well, the, the bombings, Mummy, today. We were just talking about them. No, yes, we have always lived alongside evil, but it has never been so patient, so avid for carnage, so eager to carry innocence along with it into oblivion. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. Western civilization must root out this evil wherever it hides, or she risks defeat at the hands of global terror in a nuclear age unimaginable. Mm. Yeah. Prime Minister made a very good statement, I thought. Yes, yes. <laughs> clever man. Quite a smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> I think I spoke to you very briefly a while ago and you said Meryl Streep brought Streep cred to anything she worked on. So was, uh, was that the case with this? Was she the only person really you could see playing Margaret Thatcher? I think that Damien, the producer, and Abby Morgan had talked about Meryl before I was um, asked to come on board. And when they said to me, what do you think about her? I mean, obviously the chance to work with her once, as I had already done, was, I felt, very lucky. Um, the idea of working with her a second time, it's almost like, well, have we got a project that, you know, would be sort of worthy of her? And it seemed a perfect match on so many levels. Mm. I think you needed somebody of her uh, courage who could really take on this role, playing somebody over a 40-year period. It's not something actors get um, the chance to do very often. And uh, the first time you saw Meryl as well in, in full makeup, what did you think then? What was yeah. your first impressions? Uh, absolutely wonderful. I mean, we. Did quite a lot of makeup tests and things before we started shooting. So, um, and 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 there was some st still shooting for the for the set and thing of, of us both in character and doing things together. And that, so we'd had quite before we actually started filming that we'd uh, got used to each other's uh, appearance. And and she no, it was just remarkable. Is it too early to be talking about Oscars yet? You think? Um, well. Obviously, if Meryl doesn't get nominated for an Oscar for this, um, there will be questions in the house. Um, and obviously, we're all rooting for her here. But um, as she has known to her cost, having lost, um, I think, what is it, 16 times, 15 or 16 times, um, it's a lottery. And mm. she's philosophical. And But we will be rooting for her, obviously.